But see, yeah. the other thing is I'm trying to I'm trying to get a record uh, together. I'm trying to write new songs and we're trying to get those recorded. So the yeah. band and myself, we're trying to um, keep our time, um, keep our priority that just that to try to get some things recorded. And I'm hoping to get into the studio around January, February and uh, get these new songs recorded and get ready. That's for awesome. Them. Yeah. Well, that's great. So. How long have you been working on these particular tunes that you plan on releasing? You know, we've all been working on these songs for at least a year. I know the top of the year is when I started writing. Okay. And, uh, and last so year. So you start fresh? You start fresh when you're going to do like an album like that? You don't ever like hit back some stuff from the vault or anything? or? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like... <laughs> I don't want to put that kind of pressure on myself. Right, right. Really? Oh, no. It's a handy thing to have my little phone with me. You know, I get a chance to just, you know, uh, yeah. dig through there for ideas. And that's awesome. I found some things that uh, I was able to finish in that, you know, with that method. Um, a lot of the guys, though, they wrote some things that was just fresh. And nice. I'm very envious, you know, of them being able to do that. That's so we've awesome. got some really fine stuff that's uh, about to come out. Um, hopefully some of that will be featured uh, in the Austin City Limits uh, show that we did. Because we just, okay. yeah, we just did one of those. And so we, uh, we did a couple of new songs uh, for that. So we'll see. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Uh, what, what, when you say fresh, what does that mean? Let, let's let's even give it even more specific. Let's say like your avid fan right now of you is listening to this and you say that. What are they like? Their mind's probably like, what does that mean? Uh, you know, let's let's just talk to them quickly. What would that mean exactly in, in that case? Yeah, well, um, news songs that were can be specifically written for this project. Um that's, that's well, I mean, like type of like the beats are different or what is there more? I don't know. Instrument. Yeah. What, what is what is di different about it to you? OK. OK. Yeah. Um, I have written most of my own records myself. And, okay. and then the band learn learn the tunes when we do them live. Sure. Because I usually when I, I bring in a producer, I want to hear their sound with my my uh, my songs. And so usually they'll bring like in that. their camp of people, you know, their, their musicians. Um, and then the fellas, you know, basically learn these tunes because here's, here's the thing. My, most of my guys are uh, uh, independent songwriters and producers themselves. So they're, they're usually pretty busy with their own material, but not gotcha. their own records. So uh, we all come together and, and they do my stuff. When I uh, when I put out an album, um, so a lot of the material that's out is, uh, are songs that I've written myself. So by fresh, these tunes that are, that are, we're doing for this one are coming from them, and it's just a different sound. There's some reggae coming from my guitar player, Mr. Hatton Sayers from Nacogdoches, Texas. Love uh, it. Yeah, he's got some reggae grooves going with his stuff. Um, Scotty Miller, my keyboardist, lives up in Minneapolis. He just sent me something that's got a rap in the middle of it. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with that. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> but you love the challenge. Yeah. So we're going to have to figure that one out. We may have to call someone in for that part. I don't know. But Scotty does pretty good. Hey, that's not a bad idea. A little collaboration, yeah. right? That's kind of cool. I think so. We may end up doing it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you're bringing up some really good points. They're all very different. Larry, Larry Fulcher, my bass player, who's played with Taj Mahal. Um, he's played with everyone. Um, Leon Russell. Um, gosh, the Phantom Blues Band. Wow. Uh, Larry's written some incredible, sexy, uh, you know, Sly and the Family Stone groove type wow. songs. So wow. we've got some real fun stuff coming and uh, that's awesome it'll be great to just uh you know put a lot of the those different tunes and genres really we're just kind of touching on different genres with this new record so i'm excited 
There's yeah, that. absolutely. Well, it's like one, you know, you've had this great career. So you're at a point where you're like, I, I can do this. I can bring from here and here and here. It's time to start like as a, you know, I'm a cook, right? So like as a cook, like you want to, right? The better you get and the more experienced, the more you can start playing around with different stuff and seeing what works. And that's when like some real stuff can, you know, start to happen. It's, it's something you couldn't have done, let's say 30 years ago, right? Or 20 years ago, which is cool. I think that's cool. That's a different, you know, type of thing to do. Plus all these guys, like you said, they're creative on their own. So they've got their own, you know, machines working, right? Their own stuff and they're all bringing it together. I love it. This is awesome. There's a lot of different flavors. This sounds great. Yeah. I'm excited for you. It is. It's, really... You know, yeah. It, you mentioned the word flavor. That's a lot of flavor. Yeah. A lot of this. flavor. I'm it all about is. flavor. I'm all about, <laughs> yeah, I cook. So it says flavor. Everything's flavor to me. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love this. I love that. So, you know, you talk about you were writing all your songs yourself. 